What's going on YouTube? Today I am going to show you guys how to go from this to this in On One Photo Raw uh, really quick and really easy. So let's dive into it. Click Add Filter and I'm actually working inside of the texture filters. When it pops up, it goes over the entire image and that's probably not what we want. So let's work on getting this to uh, the cutout of just around my dog waffles. The way that we do that is on the masking tool, you click on the AI tool. This is probably one of the underutilized tools in most people's situation. Uh, so hopefully today you get to use it and you learn a little bit more about it. Now, you have two options here. You have keep and you have drop. And drop really just means uh, remove this particular effect from that area. So I want to keep the effect all around my dog. So, and you don't have to paint the whole picture. On one's algorithm We'll figure it out. You'll see that I'm just going around the borders. So that way they know I do want it to go at least that far. And then I come around my dog waffles here and I'll come up the middle just to let them know or to let the algorithm know I do want them or I do want it to attempt that. I am going to go a little bit closer towards him so that way we get a good selection. And then you can hit shift X. That'll change this from keep to drop. And you'll know that you're on drop because you get a, uh, a minus sign inside of your brushes circle. Now, what I do is I paint red over the areas that I don't want this to be in. Now, this works on any type of mask. All right. So if you are working on a landscape photo and you only want to have a selected version or portion of the image to get a particular effect you could absolutely put this on any one of those masks or i'm sorry you could put that on anything in your photo and ai will do the auto masking for you and believe it or not it does a really good job and that's why I'm saying it's an underutilized tool because I hadn't, I didn't start using it until probably about, I don't know, a month ago uh, because I just wasn't making any uh, tough selections like this. So once you have your subject or whatever you want to keep, mostly selected again it doesn't have to be perfect you see i have a, a gap in the middle there on one's going to figure out like hey he actually does not want or he he wants to keep that or the person moving the mouse wants to keep that stuff does a really good job at figuring this out i didn't go all the way to the edges there because i want to show you that on one can figure out some things all right so once that's done rough selection you click on apply and it's going to apply the algorithm to your photo and you'll see green is everything that will be kept and will have whatever effect or adjustment that you made and red is everything where the adjustment is going to come out now as you can see i forgot to get in between his leg here so because i do want the cutout to go here but it did come all the way around to the outside of the dog. Uh, it looks like it missed some of his uh, whiskers or fur over here. So I'll have to go in and refine that. And then it got a little choppy down here. Um, now I'll show you how to refine that, but I'm not going to worry about that so much uh, in this video because that's more of just knowing how to work with mask inside of On One. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to select this area because I do want this to be textured and we'll hit apply 
and we'll wait for this to render one more time okay so that is much better now we can go ahead and click done here and that's going to bring us back to our texture layer now all you have to do uh, for me this mask actually did a, a really good job for the effect that i was going for and it was in such a short period of time so the texture that i had earlier when i started the video was a monochrome texture and i went to monochrome number six now if you've never played around in the uh, texture panel if you will or filter uh, one of the cool things is you can scale this texture up from where it originally was so when I put this te texture on I did not like these lines on the left side here so all I did is I scaled it up until those lines were gone uh, and I enjoy kind of how this fits uh, one of the other things that you can do and I recommend you scale this up first is you can click on the rotate and it rotates your texture around so if you felt the texture just wasn't working in the orientation that it was going you can just rotate it around until you get somewhere where you like it and again i have mr waffles fully covered here or i'm sorry fully cut out here now the other thing that you can do you know this is a black and white image so if you wanted to add a little bit of color to it you can come down to colorize uh, and that's way too strong of an effect and you can see when the effect is really strong you can see where the mask didn't do a very good job uh, and this could be how you go in and you edit your mask so that way you can see what needs to be fixed and what doesn't need to be fixed with the refine mask tool here I can just make my brush a little bit larger and I paint over and I think I went to paint out yep there we go and you just paint over these edges and you can clean up a lot of uh, problem areas really fast and really easy to get the best cut out for your project I do understand that everyone's projects gonna be a little bit different and hair, you know, hair is always a problem when it comes to doing any sort of masking or cutout or composition. Um, but in on one, you know, the times that I struggle with comping out hair is few and far between because of the AI tools and how easy they are to use. Unlike in Photoshop, nothing against Photoshop, just not the uh, not what I would recommend people use if you I need to paint out because I don't want that there and I don't want this on his leg here okay so that is a much better mask and you can bring down the amount for this colorize to make it a little bit more subtle now one of the things that I like to do with final touches if I want to add color um, you can absolutely use the LUT filter but here's another way you can click on the uh, solid color layer add that over the top of your image as you can see I have a blue layer here and then go into your blending modes and choose one of the lighten or screen or even overlay overlay is a really subtle adjustment it goes over the entire image and all I did here was lowered the opacity because overlay by itself is really strong and you bring down the opacity until you start to see that color and this is obviously uh, moving the opacity to taste so hopefully you got a little bit out of this video if you want to see more creative ways of using the tools inside of on one go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing here at free will photos we do a lot of stuff inside of on one photo raw uh, specifically using tools so if that's something you're interested in 
go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And again, if you want to see more stuff like this or you just have questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating.